introduce our second finalist. She is Victoria Tseng from Epidemiology, and she's going to be talking about cataract surgery and mortality in the United States population. Victoria. Stay. <laughs> Think of your eye as a camera. Just as every camera has a lens, your eye also has a lens. And when this lens gets cloudy, that's what we call a cataract. Just as a camera with a dirty lens produces distorted pictures, an eye with a cloudy lens can't see well. In fact, cataracts are the leading cause of low vision among aging adults in the United States. So clearly, we need to do something to address the vision loss from cataracts. And we do. We do cataract surgery. So if you look at the picture on the left, that's what you would see with a cataract. You can tell there's an adult and a child, but you can't see what they look like or where they are. But if you do cataract surgery, where you take out the cloudy lens and put in a clear and artificial lens, then you can see that it's me and my baby Xander, and we're on the beach. So what does this have to do with my research, aside from the fact that I think my kid is really cute? Well, I study epidemiology, which has to do with the patterns causes and effects of diseases and their treatments. So I'm interested in the disease of cataract, its treatment of cataract surgery, and their effects on our everyday lives. So let's start with what we know. We know that people who get cataract surgery can see better. Previous research has also shown us that people who can see well tend to have a lower risk of falling and breaking their bones compared to people who cannot see well. We also know that people who break bones late in life have a higher chance of dying. So I was interested in whether cataract surgery could make you live longer, potentially through this mechanism of improving your vision and reducing your risk of breaking bones, especially late in life. To study this, I looked at a database of 1.5 million Americans with Medicare insurance who were diagnosed with a cataract. I split this population into two groups, one group who got cataract surgery and the other group who had a cataract but didn't get surgery implying that their vision was poor. I then compared survival time in these two groups, but keeping in mind that I was looking at statistical associations and not causation, I had to account for several other factors that could affect survival time, such as each person's age, their ethnicity, the number and types of illnesses they have, where they live in the United States, and whether they're male or female. And after accounting for these important factors, I found that people with cataract surgery had a 45% reduced risk of dying compared to people without cataract surgery, suggesting that cataract surgery may potentially actually make us live longer. So we all know the importance of eating well and exercising to help us stay healthy, but my research suggests that taking good care of your eyes may be another important factor to consider to help us live a long and fruitful life. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 